All right, DJ Hunter. Um, two weeks of practice almost in the books. Defense really starting to fly around, and um, especially yesterday, a very physical practice and nature stuff. It gets you amped up, but cooler heads prevailing to definitely today, and, and getting back to working in towards that that upcoming scrimmage on Saturday. For you as a leader that's been around for, for several years here with the herd, how do you take working through yesterday and bring it back to today and just kind of get back to the, to the game plan? Um, you know, like Coach Tito said, you know, we got to embrace the grind. We got to come out here every day and be ready to compete, you know, like because I've made up my mind this camp. I was going to come out here every day and just work as hard as possible and just compete every day, you know. So when I look back on it, I ain't going to have no regrets about nothing. I know I came out here every day and gave 100%. Sliding back into that linebacker core, yeah. How much has the kind of knocking off the rust, getting back on the bicycle from a position you played two years ago and really getting yourself acclimated back in there as your buddy Corey Tindall helps you out of the background? Yeah. <laughs> um, like I said, you know, I really like the position I'm in. You know, I'm thankful for the coaches to put, have me in a position to just play with my uh, teammates. So I like everything about it. You've got a lot of guys playing beside you, a lot of guys playing behind you, a very deep linebacker core this year. How does that help this team stay fresh, down in distance, every time down the field? Uh, you know, it's good to have depth um, in every position. But, you know, and like at linebacker, we do got some good depth. We got Evan McKelvey, you know, Freak, Waiters. Uh, we got Neville. And then we all good players, I feel. So I feel like we the best room. I don't know. Sorry about that uh, to the corners. But I feel like we the best room. When you got a guy like Freak that, that starts things off in the middle, he's kind of the, the quarterback of the defense. How much does him making the right call, how much the trust factor kicks in of knowing that he's going to put you in the right position to make the play? Um, I got uh, the utmost respect and trust in Freak. You know, I think he's a good player. He's up for a lot of awards, and I think he can be one of the best linebackers in the country if he want to be. How much do you think cutting the weight that he did, 20-some you know, pounds, has helped him kind of – Remold what he does. Um, Freak, I feel like he's good at any way he play at. Um, I think he's a one of the most talented players on the team. He one of the, he's one of the strongest on the team. He's really a freak. He's a good player. He's really a freakish athlete. Mm -hmm. So, oh uh, man, any I think Freak can do anything he put his mind to. And if he want to put the work in, he can be one of the best in the country. You know, you make a good point there because I was talking with Coach Peter. You know, he, 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 a lot of guys like when they lose weight, they kind of worry about okay, do I lose some of the bulk? Do I lose some of the strength? The ability to push other people around. Yes, Do sir. you see when – have you seen any drop-off with him, like not, you said, with that no, freakish type no, of physicality? Not at all. Freak been playing some of the best football since he's been here. I've seen him on film. He, look, he like, really looking crazy. He manhandling people. Mm -hmm. He's he, he one of the best players on our defense, I think. Mm -hmm.